another Sunday afternoon. Autumn has pushed me into building something. It's been a while since I've um, done any radio related stuff so I figured I might start another project. Possibly a Beach 40 transceiver of which this is one of the very first building blocks. If I get that far or at least I hope to end up at a minimum a direct conversion receiver. This little PCB that you see over here is uh, is the oscillator circuit based upon a 7.2 megahertz ceramic resonator um, a little Colpitz oscillator um, and a variable capacitor which pulls the frequency down of the ceramic resonator at some point um, I may replace that with a very cap diode and a 10 turn potentiometer should I be bothered but for the time being I'll leave it at this get get it working and then leave my experimenting to later now as I mentioned um, it's got a ceramic resonator it's got a couple of transistors the two polystyrene capacitors I used weren't the exact value as in the circuit but um, they're close enough the, the circuit works so um, let me show you something I've hooked it up to a little frequency counter which I got on eBay I think this was only about 40 bucks or so. So you can see it's at about 7.2 megahertz and it goes down to this thing will turn. Come on. Yeah. Just over seven. So um, unlike a crystal, the ceramic resonators um, uh, have a wider pulling range of um, frequency, although that doesn't look terribly stable to me but then again the circuit is out in the open and I put my hand near it and it fluctuates so I'll just turn it back up to 7.2-ish got my little Yaesu transceiver just sitting there out of focus and it's Yeah, it's picking it up. So you can sort of see I'm putting my hand near it and the frequency fluctuates. All of this will be in the shielded box eventually. I'll just shut that thing up so it doesn't annoy you. Now one thing you've noticed, I didn't use Vero boards. Um, I just used plain PCB material which I've cut pads into with a Dremel. The majority of it is taken via the, um, of the you know, with the earth, earthing section. There's the positive voltage rail just there and a few little pads in the middle where the transistors are mounted and pretty much everything else is mounted. It's getting a bit tight but you know, so be it. Soldering practice. I think I burnt my fingertips but um, next I'll build the balanced modulator. Probably not today. I think I'm going to have a rest but in the meantime there you go, step one. See ya.